what I appreciate so much about our Leeton area, in the midst of which we live and work, being surrounded by this impressive Gesäuse National Park, is this immediacy of an untamed nature. This plant was founded on this location in 1939. After so many changes in all these decades, I am convinced that today we face the greatest technological transformation in the history of the company due to the climate change. We shall not act against nature, but with it. Our goal at MFL is to minimize the carbon footprint and the resource consumption for our products, taking in consideration the whole life cycle, the production, the use and the recycling. We try our best to reduce environmental impacts caused by our production. However, equally important is that we design innovative products which help to create a greener future. MFL has a tradition of decades in supplying rolling stock and component manufacturers in the railway industries. In the recent years, there was a focus on this field, on the course of a strategic reorientation of the company, which means that this area, this industry, will be the main market for MFL in the future. MFL helps Siemens to implement our innovation strategy. The engineering department helps us to develop very good parts that will fulfill our production line. At Siemens we are the experts for the bogies itself, for the technical requirements, but the manufacturer here, the MFL, are the experts for castings. So they know how to design a cast that it will be very good and easy to produce and it will also fulfill our requirements. So a weight reduction of trains leads to various positive effects like a better energy efficiency and also a minor wear of brakes, wheels and rails. The weight of a component derived from the geometry and the steel grade is determined by the design process. The contribution of MFL engineers in this project phase has a big impact of the optimized compromise between minimum weight of the component and minimum energy and material consumption for its production. Melting is the most energy consuming process step for steel casting. The main advantage of electric arc furnaces is the technical prerequisite of oxygen metallurgy and slag refining. This puts us in the position to use low quality raw material like um, recycled steel castings and produce high quality steel. That means high performance components emerge from metal waste. MFL's furnaces are unique because all moved parts are driven electrically, thus extremely precise, which is together with the state-of-the-art electrode control, the base for best energy efficiency. MFL is a part of the Haider Group. The Haider Group was founded in the year 1956 and one of its business areas is energy production. The Haider Energy Group produces green electricity mainly out of wind and hydropower. MFL also generates green energy itself. In the year 2014, we installed a photovoltaic system on the roof of our production halls. It has 5,600 square meters and produces about 700 megawatt hours per year. However, we installed a heat recovery plant in order to use the waste heat lost so far. This was a major turning point for MFL. Despite technical challenges, 
we are now able to feed in 75% of the waste heat into our heating system and reduce energy consumption by 2000 megawatt hours per year. In connection with the use of our waste heat, we started a cooperation with KELAG. Thanks to this, we cannot only use the generated heat directly for heating purposes, but we are also able to supply energy to the district heating system of the city of Lietzen. With the help of KELAG, MFL brings warmth in people's homes. If our company is the vehicle that moves towards future, then innovation is the driver. In five to ten years, MFL will have completed its transformation from a regional leader to an international player in its claimed field of technology. Our potential as a company and the potential of the whole industry is not being part of the problem with regards to the climate change, but being part of the solution. Thank you.